All right, guys, this is a tutorial on how to add <clears throat> notes or documents or anything like that to your Weebly site through your Google Drive. Uh, it'll work with Dropbox as well if you can just get the link uh, from whatever you put. So I've already logged into both. You can see I'm in my Google Drive currently, and then if you go over here, I'm already in my Weebly. Uh, so let's start off in Weebly. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a page to then store my information. So right now I got home and class notes. And let's just say I want to put a page under class notes for a different chapter or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a page. I'm going to click it right here. Pick standard page. Let's say chapter 2. And I'm going to pick it to have no heading or whatever one you want. Then I'm going to notice that right now if I hit save and edit and I go back, the chapter 2 shows up there. And you probably don't want that. You probably would like it to come out underneath maybe the home thing. So we'll go back to pages. And you can pick up chapter 2 and wiggle it around here. Notice how it'll nest itself underneath class notes, which is under home. So you can do that. Go save and edit. You come over here. Come on, there you go. You'll see it comes down and is nested underneath. Now, if we wanted to go one more and put it under class notes, we just move it over again. And it'll nest in under notes. So we come over here now, and now you have class notes, chapter two. So we're currently on the chapter two page. So let's say I want to put notes in here or something, whatever I want to link to. I drag title and just drag it over into the elements box. We'll call these notes. All right, now I'm going to go back to my Google Drive, which is just this tab up here. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One, you can click the folder, or click the, it's not folder, the document, or whatever it is from my drive, underneath my drive. So this is the China PDF. I click that, and I go to the little person plus symbol here that's share. And it'll bring up this uh, protocol or dialog, or whatever you're going to call it. Right now it says anyone with the link can view it. That's what you want to make sure it says. It might say just you can view it. So you go to change and make sure you've selected the middle one right here. Save. Copy. Done. Go back to your Weebly page. Highlight the text. Click on the link up here. Paste. Open a new window if you want it to open a new window. And save. And then once you hit publish, it puts it out on the internet for everybody to view. And here we go. Home, class notes, chapter two, notes, fire it up, and I'll take them to the Google Doc on China. Now, <clears throat> the other way to do it through Google Drive is you can open the document. Well, not sometimes with PDFs like this, you can't you can't do it because it's not their format. But if you go find one that's their format, like say Colonial Prospectus here, you click on it, and you'll notice up in the top right corner the Share button is there. Click it. Yet again, make sure it says anyone with the link can view. Come over here. Make sure it's the middle one. Save. Copy. Done. Now go back to your Weebly, wherever the thing is that you want to do. Remember, yet again, here I'll just add another one. You go title, pull it over, title it, highlight, click the link, paste the paste the URL or the address, whatever you want to think of it. Open a new window, save publish it to the internet. Home, notes, two, and the second patch there with the colonial prospectus information is on it as well. All right, hopefully this helps you guys out. Uh, let me know if you need any more.